Hi there. In this example, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Hadoop on Azure, which is called HD Insight, which is a port of Hadoop that was worked on by Microsoft and Hortonworks. I already have a, an HD Insight uh, instance provisioned for me by Windows, uh, the Windows Azure team. And just a quick note that for that you need to have also a storage instance uh, created for you create it in the same region as the HD Insight uh, instance. Now the examples we'll be talking about is an example of the um, using uh, using data about uh, people who listen to music, and uh, there the idea is that the more times a person listens to the same song, that the, the, the per, that person is expressing preference for that song. So there is a site here that provides large data set of uh, sample sample data, um, and, and it's like this: the the uh, it's, this is the user ID, and this is the song ID, and this is the number of times the person listened to that song. So if you, s if you look at the third record here, we see that this is the same user as that we saw here. And it's a different song, uh, song number three, basically, and uh, this is the number of times he, listened, he or she listened to that song. Well, before we go into the actually the data, you know, further, let's just talk a little bit. We need to connect to the Hadoop instance, and then we'll go from there. So, the when you are here, you click on the Hadoop instance, and then you click on Connect, and that will download for you a remote desktop um, file configuration file. That basically, when you open it, uh, uh, when you open it, you'll be in a it will connect you to the ma name node or the main node on your uh, on uh, on the your Hadoop cluster, and uh, so we'll talk about this um, actually. So you, when when you do that, by the way, when you that's when you connect, you already have uh, you will have uh, uh, Hadoop installed on your system, and that's they, when they provision that for you. But they will basically they will have it under the C root uh, under the folder dist and these are the Hadoop uh, files uh, the p these are the different basic services you know you have Hadoop you have H catalog you have Hive it wouldn't have Giraffe and it wouldn't have Mahout I install those and uh, for basically for you to for this example you need to download the Mahout uh, distribution and you do that by going into the mahout.apache.org you click on on the site on the links for downloading you will get to this page and then you click on this link for example the latest distribution is 0 0.7 you click there and then you download the zip file since we are using a Windows uh, instance basically and when you download that it goes like I said it goes into your uh, uh, downloads folder and what you do is so here it is you expand it you extract it into this folder here into C the distribution just extract it into this folder and rename it without the word distribution so it becomes Mahout dash 0 0.7 just by doing so now you already have Mahout uh, available for you on uh, on your Hadoop cluster so with that now we go back to discussing the data so as I was saying that you can the idea is that the users uh, uh, we have information about the users and their songs uh, how many times they listen to each song and you can download that data uh, from here where they provide you the link uh, but if you download that data you still need to do some conversions on it and that basically you have to convert the uh, each line um, uh, it um, you need to convert uh, the IDs of both the songs and the users to integer values and uh, and because as you saw here is they are you know they they are not integer values and then you need to save that uh, the file the output file into uh, like a comma uh, separated file the output data so because this as again as you can see here it's tab delimited 
so that's one option. You can download it and then you can write a C sharp program or a Java program to help you uh, create generate that input file for you. Another option is you can go to this site here, that what you saw here. And someone has already done that for this provided a lot of input data that you can use sample data. So here it is. When you go there and um, this is the link on GitHub. And uh, it's actually you can download all of the all of these data sets you know by clicking on zip, you get that as a zip file. Now within that zip file there is Mahout. And when you click on Mahout, you will see it has these uh, files. What we care about is the m input, the txt, and the users that txt. The m input file is basically uh, again similar to the to what we saw here, exactly. It's the user ID, the song ID, and the number of times they listen to the song. So what you see here is that it's the user ID, the song ID, and the number of times they listen to. So if you see the third row is user ID, number, uh, song ID, and they, you know, he or she listened to it twice. So when you download that data, just get those two uh, files the m user and uh, the m user the m input.txt and users.txt and put them in the root of c so we have here m input and uh, users right and now basically you have the input input data and uh, you are we are ready to proceed to using hadoop and uh, in the HD Insight uh, instances, you are provided with these shortcuts. Uh, so if you open a Hadoop command line, so notice that it opens to the, I opened, it goes into the inside of the Hadoop uh, subfolder. And basically, I will need to copy these two files that we talked about from the Windows file system to the HDFS file system. So, and to do that, you, the command is, you know, Hadoop, file system, ls, and then there is a command for copy from local, um, from local. And we are copying this file, and input, dot txt, and we are copying it to input, and then it's the same name, mInput.txt. And then we do the same with the, the other file, Hadoop, file system, copy from local, C, users txt to input and then it's users txt and then we want to see what's uh, verify that the files were copied correctly so dope fs list the files and in input and as you can see, we have both files in, uh, in HDFS now. Uh, now we go in and uh, we need to execute the command basically. And uh, this is the command that we will need to execute. So and that would be executed from within uh, the Hadoop, uh, from within the Hadoop subfolder. So base and which I am already in. If you notice here in the command line, I am already under apps distribution Hadoop uh, one point one point one point zero snapshot. And uh, so and what it is this command, um, you know, it calls the Hadoop uh, uh, program and executes this jar file Mahout Core zero point seven. Uh, dash job jar and then it calls uh, basically this uh, this class recommender job and actually when the download when you you can download from github uh, the, the source code 
and uh, you will see more information about the different options for what parameters you pass to this uh, to this class uh, so I'll copy this and execute it okay and then it will run so as you see the map reduce uh, will start running and there will be a number of iterations actually running and that will take a few minutes so in the meanwhile we can uh, have a look at some of the counters that are provided by Windows Azure, see what's happening. So I know that it will be a few minutes before it completes the job. So I'm going to stop the video right now and then resume when we are uh, done. So now the job is done. I just wanted before I go back into the job and talk about it is I we talked about the input file. So the input file, as I said, the M input has the data, you know, one, you know, the user ID, the song ID, and the number of times the user watch uh, listen to the song. The other file is actually the which is the users. It just has the list of the users that. Uh, the we are asking or we want uh, how to, to process recommendations for uh, so that's far as, as far as the uh, the input files and as you can see here the the processing is completed it took a number of iterations and we should expect that in the uh, output folder that there should be data uh, so if we go Hadoop uh, uh, FS and then uh, let's see what's in an output so as you see there are two you know the standard Hadoop uh, outputs you know the success and then the part and then R uh, part R you know, five zeros so we want to view that file so we need to copy it uh, to the local uh, directory so I'm going to copy it from HDFS to uh, copy to local and I'm going to copy it from output and um, from output and it's called uh, part R and then one, two, three, four, five into the root of C and, and call it output dot txt. Okay, so now if we go in and uh, look at it here, here is the file just copied and if I open it and view it so what you see here so this is a record up to here and uh, this is another record basically so that's the user and for user 1 right so it's a uh, the user and then a colon and then the user's uh, preference or rating and then comma and so that again so that's the again uh, the song and the preference or rating for that song so again the output format is starts with the user ID and then uh, you'd have these uh, pairs of song and uh, preference uh, for the song 
So that was uh, an example of using uh, Apache Mahout on uh, Windows Azure. I hope that was uh, helpful. Thank you very much.